Hey, this is Tom and Shirley, your local Claremont Realtors. Have you ever spent your vacation in Florida and decided, hey, I want to live there? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, obviously, we did just that, and we're going to share with you our pros and cons to living here. So stay tuned because you'll want to check this out. If you haven't already subscribed to our YouTube channel, please go ahead and do so. Click the subscribe button below and don't forget to click the bell so you get all the updates. And we'll be right back. I guess we have to talk about the cons now. I know, I know. <laughs> so, it is hot here in the summertime. Yes, it is hot. <laughs> and uh, there's a little humidity, you would say, also, wouldn't you? Yeah. Unlike our winter months, when it's 85, 90... No, I, I can't even say that. When it's 75, 80, it feels like 75, 80. It, it, with a little breeze, it feels great. But in a, in the summertime, 89, 90, it feels like 100. I mean, it is hot. So you have to dress appropriately, you know? Yeah, and you know, you're, you're definitely hydrating, drinking a lot of water. And it, it takes a little while for your body to get used to it. But... Uh, Remember, shade your friend. We always say that. It does make a difference. And, uh, you know, so you just have to make sure that you're, um, like uh, she said, dressing appropriately, drinking a lot of water. And remember, there's lots of air conditioning around. A lot yeah. of people go from an air-conditioned home to air-conditioned car to an air-conditioned store. But when you do go outside, you just got to be smart about things. And I always say... I'll take the heat of summer over the cold of winter any yeah, day. Yeah, and the and two at night it does start to cool down. So back when we lived in Illinois, at night it even got colder. I mean, it's cold as it is, and then it got colder. But here, you know, in the summertime, the opposite. Um, at night it cools down. So we're we're going out to Disney Springs. We're going out to some of the things, and you can stay out out late at night and. It's 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 nice. So yeah, that doesn't disappoint. <laughs> Another con is you got to have your mosquito repellent. If you're by a lake, yeah, the lakes when you live on a lake or by a lake, there's mosquitoes. So um, there's a lot of you know most of the the outdoor pools um, in the home single family homes. There's there's lanai's and there's a reason for it with the screened in lanai's. Screened in pools, yeah. But if you are out late at night and it's uh, you're by a lake, be prepared. Spray because it can be bad. <laughs> Yeah, it can be, but once again, I find anyway that you know when you're not really by water, right? That it's it's not a big deal. There's not any issues. It's not a big and deal. to tell you the truth, all the the parks they seem to cover themselves pretty good with that. That you yeah, don't I don't ever... really feel it in the parks. It's it's okay in the parks. I don't know why. I guess we're not really by water, but it's okay. You know. So what's another con? Well, I think for a lot of people. Moving here without a job and looking for a job, the salaries can be low. I mean, I think because there's so many people moving here, I mean, it's an incredible amount of people that move here because they want the good weather. They want to be outside year round. They want all the activities and things. So, you know, there's a lot of people wanting jobs. I would recommend having something secured before you get here. Um, but I think some people are surprised at the, 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 the wage, the rate that they pay, unless you're maybe a high executive. Now, there's a lot of people that come here with jobs that they've already, you know, gotten, or they come here and they can work from home. And so they, they are making good money, you know, but you just, you really need to look into and that. You need to be prepared and do your research and just make sure that uh, that part is going to work out for you because... Unless you're independently wealthy and you can just uh, come here to have fun all the time, most people work and have jobs, so you want to get that in order. Yeah, before you make that move, you know, know, know where you're going and know what you're going to be doing. 
Another con that uh, we have to talk about is the traffic. Uh, we have a lot of tourists that come through. You think? <laughs> our Central Florida area, I think the number uh, last year was in the 70 million figure, um, probably closer to 75 million. And uh, traffic can be heavy. Uh, there's always, uh, seems to be always construction going on uh, on some of the main roads. So you just have to make sure that you're planning and uh, w with your schedule uh, you know just making sure you're looking and seeing what's going on with uh, accidents or construction yeah and that's always the two main main cul culprits that um, there's an accident that i4 can get really congested um, i4 is your free highway but then they have the turnpike and the 429 that can get you around um, but those are tolls, and that's another con, you know, be prepared. You're going to be paying tolls when you're traveling around. You could want to go out to dinner and get there, you know, quicker than going the... And many people just say it's worth it to take yeah. the quicker way to uh, pay the toll. Yeah, so. so be prepared. There's tolls. Thanks for joining us on our pros and cons series. If you missed part one on pros, be sure to watch it. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so you won't miss out on our weekly videos. If you have any questions, please call or visit our website.